Welcome back to MacroCode and today we are going to learn about one to many relationship convention in entity framework core. So if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and watching our previous videos. So this is a continuation of a fluent API video so you can uh, consider watching our previous video and subscribing. So in our previous video we learned about uh, EF core Fluent API. So we are going to learn about EF convention, which map entities to different object, objects of the database. So today we learn about the relationship convention between two entity classes that result in one to many relationship between corresponding tables in the database. So Entity Framework Core follows uh, the same convention as Entity Framework uh, 6.x or point 0.1, that is when I mean x is 6.0 going forward for one to many relationship. So the only difference is that EF core creates a foreign key column with the same name as navigation property name and not as navigation property underscore primary key property name. So we have our we have our foreign key, our, we have one of our model called uh, student that we created on our previous video. So we have this uh, entity called student. So, so this student we have created ID, first name, middle name, last name, date of birth and uh, phone number. So we are going to create another model called grade. So we are going to link, uh, so I'll create another class. So I'll stop my application, create another class called uh, grade, grade. So in our grade class, we'll have, uh, of course, the primary key, int, then this is our primary key. Then in uh, our grade table, we'll be having our grade, grade name, string, grade name. Then we'll be having our, let's say, section. Section. So after we have uh, done this, uh, to apply convention for one to many relationship in, in the entities, so we have our student model and our grade model. So we want to establish the relationship in entity framework. So, so we want to establish a one to many relationship where many students are associated with one grade. So this can be achieved by including a reference navigation property in the dependent entity. So here, the student entity is the dependent entity. And the grade entity is the principal entity. So our student entity is the dependent entity. So we'll do this. So we'll come here and say public. Then we say grade. Then we say grade. So this is our dependent entity. So we have uh, establishing now the connection, the one-to-many relationship. So he, as you can see, after we have done this, the student entity class includes a reference navigation property of, of grade type. So this allows us to link the same grade to many different students, which creates a one-to-many relationship between them. So this will produce a one-to-many relationship between the students and grades table in the database, where the student table includes an allowable foreign key of grade ID. So you can actually also do this. You do that int, then you say grade ID, which will reference the grade. So, uh, so we had define our 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 table that is here on our students. So we can add this to our grade so that we have this table on our database. Then we say grade. So you can watch our previous videos on how to, on uh, application DB context, that is uh, defining the database connection between our application and our, our database. We are using SQL Server. So if you are new to this, you can uh, check on that. So after we have done that, uh, another thing that you can do on our grades, on our grades table, so we expect a collection of students. So we can actually do this public i collection, collection. So th this is another convention if you want to do it. So you can actually define that this 
uh, under student under grade you expect uh, students so we can also do we can do this public say i collection then we say student now i can do this yes so here the student entity includes a reference a navigation property of grade and the grade entity includes a collection navigation property i collection student which results in a one-to-many relation be between the corresponding tables the students and the grade so so we have done that so this is how you establish the relationship between one of the uh, entities and the between the tables in an ef core so we have these and we also have this so if we do migration so if you, in case you may want this this uh grid or the student can, can may not be linked to uh one of these table you can also have this to be nullable so you can do that then we will 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 actually be allowing nullable for that type of for a student can may be linked or not to a grade so you can have that as an alibi so that's how you do it so if we actually do this if we now up, uh, do migration so to do migration i just come to our tools then uh, nugget, nugget manager then i say add migrations students migration Sorry, I, I use the wrong command. Say add migration, not migration. So that is the command for uh, running migration. So my migration is done. Then if I want to apply this to our database, I'll say update a database. Then that is done that is done so on our app settings we have we had uh, linked our database to a uh, university then we have uh, so if we i open my uh, sql server you see we have our our database called university and the tables now we had created for students if i refresh this we're expecting another table called grades so if i just do this you see it has created id grade name and section so on our on our on our entity we have the id grade name and uh, section then on our student we are expecting now the grade id so if i run this uh, select for students you see we have now a grade id so assuming we want to create one of the student so i'll just come to our controller to our program.cs and we can add a crude operation for student. So let me just do this. So we'll come here. And uh, our, on our application, then you say add, then you say, let's just come to our, our views. You say add, then you say new scaffolded item. Then you say MVC with views using entity framework then select our class so we want to do crude operation for student this is our db context then our controller name will be student controller then we add so it will create our views that is a crude operation for student where we can add, update, and delete student. We can also create another code for grades so that we see how we are linking. So it has created our our student our student uh, crude operation. So here we can see we have a student as one of our. Then this controller you can move it up here. So we can also do another one for for grade. So I'll say new scaffolded item. 
then I select uh, grid then we will have our grid controller so it has created that so if i want to create a student i'll come here i want just to change these to students then i run this so it's running our application yeah you can see we have this table so if i just create here you'll see i'll be adding a, a first name middle name then we have the grade ID. So let me just minimize this for you to see. So, so you see we have the first name, middle name, and we'll be having a grade ID. So we have not created our grade. So I'll just we can link our our grade so let's push this here first to create the grades so we can have our just to change this so that we, we can see our grade and copy this and copy this then we have our students here so here we can say students in the students here we can copy also these and we provide the grid here you can say grids then this is grids so if we save these and we launch our application So we have our grades here. If we click this, it will take us to a page for creating grades. So if we create new, so you can say grade is computer. Then section we say programming. So if we create, say it will be, so it's not creating computer programming. something wrong our grades create um, our posting so this is taking us to sub post here can debug we see okay yes so it's coming yeah that is it so let's see if it's it here yeah there's some validation issue I can actually comment this So we will create. So let's do this. Just a simple app. Yes, do that. Go to the list. You see, it has created our program. So if we go to students, and we say create student, you can see we have our grade. We, we have our students so we'll be having our first name 
middle name, first name, then date of birth, then we can have the phone number, then you can see we have the grade ID. So if we just click create, it will actually create our student with now the ID. So it's actually a model issue. We also do that. Don't want to see some validations. So let us comment this uh, validation. So what you want to see under grade, it is showing the ID. So you can change this to show the the grade name. Let's take the grade name. We'll go here. And you can have this as the grade name, then you can have this as the, so it will be showing the grade name instead of the ID. So if I create, can minimize this. So you can have a first name, middle name, then uh, our phone number, then you see our grid, it is a drop down, then we can create. Then you can see it has created our, our student with the grid ID. So if we come to our database and we select, we will see our student, then our grid. So that is how we establish the relationship in Entity Framework Core. So consider subscribing and watching our video. See you in our next session.